Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the importance of taking breaks. A lot of times, you know, we're all so, so gun ho to get to where we want to go and uh, our career, our money, our relationship, whatever it may be, we want to work very hard to get to where we are. And sometimes that can lead to some negative, uh, negative things, not to say that you shouldn't work hard. But we're going to talk today about some of the things I do when I know I need to take a break, why I take breaks, and also what do you guys think the longest amount of time I've gone without writing a single line of code? It was recent, and I'm going to talk, talk to you about it in this video. So one of the things that I do when I need to take a break is I play video games. I don't play a lot like I used to. But I thought I would uh, mention that because right now Humble Bundle has a Capcom Sega Atlas bundle. So if you're a PC gamer like me and you want to get some low cost games for a dollar, you can get all five of these games. I don't really care about many of these. Maybe Bionic Commando would be fun. I'm more so interested in Dead Rising, Resident Evil 4. Um, I'm probably not going to play the Sega game. Uh, or Devil May Cry 4. Get $12, get them all. Just something I wanted to, to bring up. So, okay. So, why... Why do we take breaks and why why is it important to take breaks? Well, for one, uh, burnout, right? We've talked about burnout in the past and it's important to know when you burn out and how you burn out. For me, it's not necessarily a time thing. It's more of a stress of life thing. How? Why am I stressed and, and how can I go about solving it? And usually I'm lucky enough that April can... Uh, detect that that something is I'm I'm irritable or something in my life is I've been working too hard right and I'm not talking about I just work a job you know I'm, I'm doing YouTube I'm, I'm talking to affiliates I'm talking to sponsors I have a Facebook group I'm working on a podcast I'm building a course um, you know recently I and the reason I'm bringing this is because recently I got very burnt out and I needed to take a break. And coincidentally, I ended up taking one uh, because of Hurricane Irma. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you, for those of you who don't know, I live in Florida. And what that basically has caused is a six-day break, which is the longest time I have not I've have yet to write a line of code. Technically, it doesn't really count because it's really a three-day break. I didn't write a line of code because I worked other days. And I also worked on the Facebook group and I, I handled YouTube stuff. But we'll say six days for the sake of argument in my life, in my personal life, writing code. Typically, the longest I've gone is about two and a half days. And that's usually because we're on vacation. Um, but one of the reasons I got, I got burnt out and I needed to take a break was I was studying nonstop for the last basically four months while I was uh, taking interviews from uh, potential people. For potential companies, um, so I was interviewing. Also, those are uh, filling out their filling out those um, applications, answering phone calls from recruiters, answering emails from recruiters, um, which are good problems to have, by the way. So, not to say that that I'm ungrateful that I I I got a new job, and not that there's anything wrong with my old job, but I, I a good opportunity, but. You're answering emails. You're doing technical interviews. You're interviewing in person. So that that was one of the biggest stressors of my of my recent last two months or so, and that's gone. Also, uh, you know, YouTube work, uh, relationship, money issues recently. So um, money issues because I'm saving too much and not spending enough on us. <laughs> so good money issues, but. Uh, things that can be handled. So what are some of the things that you can do when you need to take a break? Well, I like to play video games. I can only really sit down for at most an hour. I used to, um, as a child and a young adult, I could sit down all day. It could be a day of League of Legends, a day of Call of Duty, uh, a day of Final Fantasy, whatever, uh, whatever game I was playing at the moment and do that. Now I can kind of sit down and I have more of a library. Some games I don't even touch. Uh, but they're there if I ever want to. That's why I try to get them cheap, like through this humble bundle. Link in the description, all that good stuff, uh, so you guys can help me out. But um, that's why I try to get them cheap on on PC. PC is cool that way because you can get cheap. You know, you can spend sixty bucks on one PlayStation game, and then you'll get it for four dollars in a humble bundle like, six months later or something, right? Um, not always the case, but one of the cooler things about the Steam sale and and humble bundles stuff like that. Um, you know, occasionally I try to read books, but there are so few books that interest me, and it's hard to start a new series. Uh, for me, I'm a big sci-fi fantasy guy. Um, 
the last big series I read was the Xanth series, X-A-N-T-H. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, if you like um, fantasy, that's kind of, you know, the magic, the dragons, the, you know, the elves and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, series. The first book, uh, they have, I want to say, over 100. And I've, I've, I've read all of them except the ones that have come out in the last five years. So that was when I stopped reading that series. Um, but uh, Piers Anthony is the author of that. And uh, this first book is called A Spell for a Chameleon. It's a very good read. I, I encourage you. It's not a super hard read or anything like that, but a very fun read. Um, another great series that I, I like from the same author is um, The Incarnations of Immortality. So, uh, the, again, sci-fi fantasy. I don't really read too many books anymore. Um, I, I, they're so time-consuming. I enjoy it, but they're very time-consuming. And uh, once I kind of get into a, a book... I like to sit down and finish it. And uh, so I might read a 300-page book in three days, which isn't, you know, uh, super long or super fast. But for me, I think it's a pretty, pretty good read. Um, the last book I read was Ready Player One as well. So if you're interested in books, I couldn't, I couldn't recommend reading as a way to kind of relax. And um, the reason for it is it's a different medium than a lot of other ways that, we, that I relax um, you know, when I'm basically going from a computer monitor to a TV monitor, there is something that's very similar at times. Um, and sometimes when you need that break, you need a different, you need a different device. You need, you know, you need to get some fresh air. You need to walk around. You maybe need to just close your eyes, rest, sit down, um, treat yourself in whatever way works for you. Um, but that's really how I take a break. And it's super important, right? Unfortunately, I, I can fully understand as somebody who has pretty much worked every day for about three years and has been reaping some success from it, whether it's YouTube, uh, financial, or or in the working world, it's hard to not work. It really is because you, you go from being unsuccessful to successful uh, just a little bit and you see what hard work can get you. And it's hard to actually step back for a second and say, you know what, I, I need to take a break for my own mental health and my own um, my own brain energy, right? And uh, take a step back, and I'll actually be more productive because I'm overworking myself, uh, which is str a strange thing to happen, right? Most people are, and I, I hope you're more so on this end than underworking yourself, right? Um, April is one of those people who tell me I need to work less and enjoy life a little bit more, and I'm one of those people who say I'll enjoy life in five years, right? I, so. Uh, um, it's a, it's okay to take breaks is what I'm trying to say. Um, just don't take too long of breaks. You know, um, two days at the most is what I think is what most people should be doing. Uh, but that's just my, that's my own thing. Everyone's got to live their own life. I, I very rarely will ever take a day off. Um, uh, I'm always working on YouTube. I'm always working on, on coding, um, learning something new, um, you know, practicing algorithms, whatever it is, just having fun, right? To me, it's fun. It's 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 kind of an interesting world because not only is it challenging, which makes it fun, it's very stimulating, and it can help me out in a career sense, which is why I try and tell people that if you want to be in this field, um, definitely find what makes it fun for you. And uh, that, that leads me to a video that I'm going to be doing. I, I recently talked about the five things that you need to do to get um, a job in web development when you're starting out. And one of the big things I hammered on was side project, side project, side project, right? Uh, get yourself a nice personal project. And uh, one of the things I'll be talking about in a future video where I have 50, 50, I'm at 25. I'm coming up with 25 more side project ideas. Um, and these are, these are, very broad so uh, you'll be surprised by a few of them but the point of the side projects projects are not only to to have a good portfolio item that makes you a unique candidate but also it's a different way to stimulate yourself side project doesn't necessarily mean you have to be typing code now some are but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh it's the only way to have a good side project and so the reason i bring that up is when you are feeling like you need a break which is different than burning out because i think when you burn out you're already past the point where you should have taken a break, right? Um, when you when you when you burn out, you're kind of like, I went too far. We need to take a break. It is the mental fortitude of saying, Hey, um, this is going from maybe it used to be fun. It's no longer fun, and it feels like a to a chore or a task, and I don't enjoy this. That's when you need to take a break, right? When something you do enjoy, and that you always have enjoyed, or 
for a very long time I've enjoyed. Like I enjoy all this YouTube stuff. I enjoy codings on my own at work. I love all of this. I really do. Um, and when it's when it starts to, when you when that feeling is gone or being diminished, that's when you know you need to take a break. And so um, side projects are a good thing where where you can do something different, do something fun, and in the process, you can also uh, still be productive, right? Because a lot of us, uh, myself included, I want to be farther ahead in life than I am, and so it's hard for me to sit down, right? It's, I, I'm always going, 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 going. It's also probably all the caffeine I drink, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, but um, I encourage you guys, when needed, be very aware of when you need to take breaks and feel okay about it. Um, don't don't take too long of a break. Sometimes you only need a, a two, three hour break, whatever it is. Everyone's different, but it's much better than uh, getting to the point where you're burnt out. So figure out what it is that helps you change, change gears and sort of step away for a second and go do something else. And it could still be productive, maybe in a different manner, right? But Go ahead and, and do that. And that could be anything from being productive in, di in different matters. Sometimes I remember I'd take a break. I would just update my LinkedIn. I'd go through my emails, answer my email. I re would respond to comments on YouTube, all that sort of stuff. You can still be productive with what it is that you're trying to accomplish in life, but still take a break in the process. So this is more so a, a reminder of you guys, to you and myself, the importance of taking breaks because I just had one, basically. Um, through Hurricane Irma. And granted, I was driving 30 hours in the last three days uh, to go to New Orleans and back, and it was very stressful. We had the cats in the car, but it was a different type of stress, right? It was a different type of mental, uh, it's more of a physical, actually, than anything else, and trying to uh, get to where we needed to go as we needed to evacuate. But it did it did let me take a break from my, my, my standard YouTube, um, become a better developer, work. It was a nice break um, that made me come back energized, even though I was so physically tired from the drive, and come back and really just tackle video after video, you know, um, study, 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 and just sort of put a nice smile on my face. So I think maybe I might even subconsciously bent a little burnt out without realizing it, um, I know I was from these interviews and stuff like that. It's very tiring and time consuming, um, but it's a good problem to have. So as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to check the link for the Humble Bundle if you're interested in any of these uh, games. I couldn't recommend uh, Resident Evil 4 or Dead Rising or Devil May Cry 4. Those are the three I'm going to play. But at the very least, you can try some random games for a dollar. So uh, thank you for... Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you happen to be looking for a boot camp, I couldn't recommend Dev Mountain any higher. They also include housing with their tuition, so you can get up and go and get started right away. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.